Hello and welcome everyone. A few people asked me some questions about that um, talk on front running. So I have created them to the talk. So um, the original talk um, you, you can find on um, the Meetup's um, YouTube channel, and so um, which was just front running attack protection for Ethereum smart contracts. So this is the addendum to that. And um, so people asked, you know, can you go over the commit reveal with timeout scheme again and really explain some of the details and why is it needed if you've got an ethical block builder? I don't get that, people said. So let's walk it through. So let's have a look at this um, contract that we've got here, the commit reveal with timeout. So the first thing you're doing is you're registering a commitment um, to something and that commitment consists of um, the message sender. So you're tying it to the entity that's going to um, submit it. So it means that um, in no other entity will be able to use submit proof and any other entity will have to create a different commitment. So that's one thing. Um, you've got the proof, which is, you know, whatever you're trying to um, prove. Um, and um, then you've got your random salt and that's to stop other watcher parties um, from trying to essentially brute force um, the proof to try and work out, well, hey, what could the proof be? So it makes it harder for attackers. Um, one thing to consider is that that, that commitment um, map there is between address and the commitment. And so what this is really saying is that um, the scheme that of, you know, the, the actual code just here is designed for you only having one thing you're trying to prove at a time. So you could imagine that a system might be such that multiple things are going on at once. So maybe you've got someone who does one attack on the system, they get you caught up in doing some commit reveal scheme, then they do something bigger. Um, which, you know, you obviously would like to call out that fraud as well. And so you could imagine you could design that mapping, you know, that data structure to be a little bit more complicated to allow for multiple frauds in, to be acted on in parallel. Um, and so that, that's just making the data structure slightly more complicated. Um, and so really that is the main thing to, to do with it is that, you know, you could design it so you could be acting on multiple frauds at the same time. Um, and that's really then going to come down to maybe having a mapping of, and then a, um, a mapping of, and have the, the middle being, so the proof, um, or some other around what is being proved. Okay. The uh, commit reveal with timeout. The next one was so people said, well, look, all right, so why can't you just use a simple submit proof function that could be front running all the circumstances? But if you use an ethical block builder, then you know maybe you you should be fine, shouldn't you? You know, so what what's the story? And so um, what you can think of is something called defense in depth. And so this is a medieval fort photo that I um, took off the internet. Um, and you know you can see that there are there's not just one big wall that they're using. you know that it looks like they've got a moat and they've got an outer wall and then there's an inner wall. And you know there are a lot of castles are designed like this. If you look at um, say Tower of London in um, you know London, UK, you've got an inner big tower. And then you've got the outer wall, and then outside of that, you've got the moat. And that's very common. And so the idea is that you're not relying on just one single thing. So in the context of MEV and, um, you know, the MEV boost and the ethical built block builders, well, what happens if someone says they're an ethical block builder, but someone in that supply chain um, between the ethical block builder and the block actually being created, say, gets hacked um, so that, say, an attacker can see, um, say, what the re the, um, the the parties are, the relayers are doing, or maybe the ethical block builder itself gets hacked. 
um, so that you know some nefarious party can see the transaction. So if you if you have something more complicated than just a simplistic submit proof, so you have a commit reveal with timeout, then you're adding an extra layer of security. And so I think that's really all that it um, is about. Um, and um, yeah, please join the meetup um, and um, join the Slack workspace to enjoy the um, come and join the conversation. All right, thank you. Bye-bye.